Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Dave Brannon wrote today's reading, and he titled it, No Longer a Foreigner. You don't belong here. Those words crushed an eight-year-old girl's heart, and the pain stayed with her. Her family had emigrated from a refugee camp in a war-torn country to a new country, and her immigration card had the word alien stamped on it. She felt like she didn't belong. As an adult, although she put her faith in Jesus, she still felt alienated, stung by the feeling that she was an unwelcome outsider. While reading her Bible, she discovered the promises of Ephesians chapter 2. In verse 12, she saw that old, troubling word, alien. You were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But as she kept reading, she saw how Christ's sacrifice had changed her status. She got to verse 19, which told her, You are no longer a foreigner or alien. She was a fellow citizen with God's people. Realizing that she was a citizen of heaven, she was overjoyed. Never again would she be an outsider. God had taken her in and accepted her. Because of our sin, we're alienated from God. But we don't have to stay that way. Jesus brought peace to all who were far away, making all who trust him fellow citizens of his eternal kingdom, united as the body of Christ. The scripture reading for today's devotional is from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 13, and also verses 17 through 22. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Therefore, remember that formerly you who are Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands, remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenants of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. And now picking up at verse 17. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the chief cornerstone. In him the whole building is joined together and rises to become a holy temple in the Lord. And in Him, you too are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by His Spirit. Would you spend some time in prayer with me? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank You that when we were lost and felt like aliens in a foreign land, You made a place for us in Your family. As we encounter other lost souls, May we tell them about your gift of salvation and that you have a place for them as well. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for listening today. I'm Stephen Tabor, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.